Now you try, we have 8x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 7x plus 11. So what I need to do, I get my x's together. So the first thing I'm going to do is move this x. So I'm going to subtract 7x on both sides. 8x minus 7x is a 1x. I still have plus 5 is greater than or equal to 11. Again, we're still trying to get our x by itself, so I need to move this 5. So I'm going to subtract 5 on both sides. Therefore, I get x is greater than or equal to 11 minus 5 is 6. Here's our answer, which is choice C. Number 2 here. We're solving. So what I need to do is get this r. I need to distribute before I can even do anything. So I have negative 25r plus 20 is less than or equal to. Negative 5 times 4r is a negative 20r. Negative 5 times a negative 10 is a positive 50. Okay, then I still need to get my r's together. So first I'm going to add 20r to both sides. So negative 25r and a positive 20r gives me a negative 5r. I still have plus 20 is less than or equal to. This side it's gone, so I still have that 50. Okay, then I need to move this 20 to the other side, so I'm going to subtract 20 on both sides. So now I have negative 5r is less than or equal to a positive 30. And lastly, I'm going to divide by a negative 5, and we're not going to forget, since we are dividing by a negative number, I need to flip this sign. So when I flip it, 30 divided by negative 5, I get negative 6. We get an answer of r is greater than or equal to negative 6, which is my choice, d. Now my last, now you try, we actually have our two different problems here. We have negative 10 is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 6, and is less than or equal to 8. So we're going to separate it into my two equations. We have negative 10 is less than or equal to my negative 2x plus 6, and then we also have negative 2x plus 6 is less than or equal to 8. Okay, so first I'm going to solve this one over here. So I'm going to get my x's. Um, by itself, so I need to subtract 6 from both sides first. So negative 10 and negative 6 is a negative 16. I still have this less than or equal to negative 2x. And then I need to divide by a negative 2. Again, we're not forgetting to flip that sign. And we're going to leave that the way it is right there just because this is how it's written here. Okay, let's look on this side. This side we're going to subtract the 6 on both sides. So I get negative 2x is less than or equal to 8 minus 6. I get 2. And then I'm going to divide both sides by a negative 2, which again we are not going to forget to flip that sign. Alright, so now looking at my answers, um, we do always like to keep this, the lower number it needs to be in order here. So my negative 1 is going to be here, and my 8 needs to be here. My x is always in the middle. Now I'm looking here. The x, the greater than or equal to is facing the x, so it needs to do the same thing here. On this side, my greater than or equal to is facing the, facing the 8, so I need to do the same thing there. So I get a negative 1 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 8, which is choice A.